Hello, good afternoon. I am Professor G. N. Rajapa, Professor and Head, Department of Mathematics, AIT, Chikmagalur. So now I will start inverse Laplace transform. Inverse Laplace transform, if L of f of t equal to f of s, if L of f of t equal to f of s, then f of t is called inverse Laplace transform of f of s and is usually denoted by f of t is equal to L inverse of f of s. This is the definition. So if L of f of t equal to f of s then, then f of t is called inverse Laplace transform of f of s and is denoted by f of t is equal to L inverse of f of s. If so, that means if L of f of t equal to f of s then f of t is equal to L inverse of f of s. By using this definition we can write here standard form so that means standard results number 1 L inverse of 1 by s is equal to 1. L inverse of 1 by s equal to 1 because L of 1 is 1 by s. So L of 1 is 1 by s therefore L inverse of 1 by s equal to 1. L inverse of 1 by s minus a is equal to e to the power of a t because here L of e to the power of a t is 1 by s minus a. L inverse of S to 1 by s to the power of n is equal to t to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. Because we know L of t to the power of n is equal to so n factorial by s to the power of n plus 1. Replace n by n minus 1 then this becomes here L of t to the power of n minus 1 is equal to n minus 1 factorial divide by s to the power of n replacing n by n minus 1. Therefore L inverse of 1 by s to the power of n is equal to t to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. L inverse of 1 by s minus a to the power of n is equal to e to the power of a t into t to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. So L inverse of 1 by s minus a to the power of n is equal to e to the power of a t into t to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. L inverse of 1 by s square plus a square is equal to sin a t divided by a because we know L of sin a t is equal to a by s square plus a square. L of sin a t is a by s square plus a square. L inverse of s by s square plus a square is equal to cos a t because L of cos a t is equal to s by s square plus a square. L inverse of 1 by s square minus a square is equal to sin hyperbolic a t by a because we know L of sin hyperbolic a t is equal to a by s square minus a square. L inverse of s divided by s square minus a square is equal to cos hyperbolic a t because L of cos hyperbolic a t is equal to s by a square minus a square. So L inverse of L inverse of 1 by s minus a whole square plus b square is equal to e to the power of a t into sin b t divided by b. So L of L inverse of 1 by s minus a whole square plus b square is equal to e to the power of a t sin b t by b. Same type here L inverse of so L inverse of s minus a by s minus a whole square plus b square is equal to 
e to the power of a t into cos b t. If it is minus here, then you will get here e to the power of a t sin hyperbolic b t by b. Again, if it is minus here, then you will get e to the power of a t into cos hyperbolic b t. By using these standard results, we can do some examples. The first problem is here, find L inverse of, find L inverse of 1 by S plus 2, 1 by S plus 2 plus 1 by 2 S plus 5, 1 by 2 S plus 5 plus minus 4 by 3 S minus 2, minus 4 by 3 S minus 2. So, find inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 2 plus 1 by 2 s plus 5 minus 4 by 3 s minus 2. First, you separate all the terms here that is the L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 plus L inverse of 1 by 2 s plus 5 minus L inverse of 4 by 3 s minus 2. 4 by 3 s minus 2 that is equal to L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 plus here we have to write these these two into the standard form so that we can use the formula here. Here the coefficient of s is 1 but here the coefficient of s is 2 so you take this 2 outside then that becomes here 1 by 2 into L inverse of 1 by s plus 5 by 2. Same type here the coefficient of s is 3, so you take 3 outside, then that becomes here minus 4 by 3 into L inverse of, so 1 by s minus 2 by 4, 2 by 3. So 4 by 3 you take outside, then the remaining is here L inverse of 1 by s minus 2 by 3. Now clearly it is of the form here L inverse of 1 by s minus a form, use this formula here put a is equal to minus 2 then the answer is here e to the power of e to the power of minus 2 t put a is equal to minus 2 here if you put a equal to minus 2 then l inverse of 1 by s plus 2 equal to e to the power of minus 2 t same type here plus 1 by 2 into again here it is of the form l inverse of 1 by s minus a form put a is equal to minus 5 by 2 you will get the answer here that means e to the power of minus 5 by 2 t by putting a is equal to minus 5 by 2 minus 4 by 3 into. So, here it is of the form L inverse of 1 by s minus a form s minus a put a is equal to here put a is equal to 2 by 3 you will get the answer that means e to the power of e to the power of 2 by 3 t. So, this is the answer. So, next example find the L inverse of find the L inverse of find the L inverse of S plus 2 by a square S plus 2 by a square plus 36 plus 4 S minus 1 plus 4 S minus 1 divided by a square plus 25. Find L inverse of or inverse Laplace transform of S plus 2 by S square plus 36 plus 4 S minus 1 by S square plus 25. That is first you separate all the four terms that is equal to L inverse of S divided by S square plus 36 or 6 square 36 is equal to 6 square plus L inverse of 2 by A square plus 6 square plus 4 into or L inverse of 4 S by A square plus 5 square yeah, 25 is equal to 5 square minus L inverse of 1 by A square plus 5 square that is equal to here now it is of the form here L inverse of S by S square plus A square here you use this formula here 
L inverse of S by square plus A square is cos A D, put A is equal to here 6, you will get the answer that means cos 60 plus 2 you take outside, L inverse of 1 by square plus A square forum here, put A is equal to 6. So, L inverse of 1 by square plus A square equal to 6 square equal to sin 60 by 6. That means the answer is here sin 60 by 6 plus 4 into, now clearly it is a form L inverse of S by square plus A square forum, use this formula here. L inverse of S by square plus 5 square, put A equal to 5, you will get cos 5D. So, cos 5D minus L inverse of 1 by square plus A square forum, again use this formula here. So, L inverse of 1 by square plus 5 square, put A equal to 5, you will get sin 5D by 5, sin 5D divided by 5, this is the answer. Next example, find L inverse of, find L inverse of S plus 2 whole cube, S plus 2 whole cube divided by S to the power of 6. So, find L inverse of S plus 2 whole cube by S to the power of 6, that is equal to here by using A plus B whole cube formula. So, A plus B whole cube is equal to, so A cube plus 3 A square B plus 3 A B square plus B cube. So, A plus B whole cube formula here A cube plus 3 A square B plus 3 A B square plus B cube. Here put A is equal to S and B is equal to 2, use that formula then this becomes here L inverse of, so S cube plus 6 A square plus 12 S plus 8 divided by S to the power of 6. Here A cube plus 3 A square B plus 3 A B square plus B cube. Next step is here, you separate all the terms here, S cube by S to the power of 6 plus 6 a square by s to the power of 6 plus 12 s by s to the power of 6 plus 8 by s to the power of 6. That means just by separating all the four terms here. So, this divided by denominator again plus 6 a square by s to the power of 4 plus 12 s by s to the power of 6 plus 8 by s to the power of 6. That is equal to L inverse of s cube by s to the power of 6 simplifying we get here 1 by s to the power of 3 plus 6 into L inverse of s square by s to the power of 6 is 1 by s to the power of 4 plus 12 into L inverse of s by s to the power of 6, 1 by s to the power of 5 plus 8 into L inverse of 1 by s to the power of 6. That is equal to here, now you by using this formula here, L in it is of the form L inverse of 1 by s to the power of n forum. Put n is equal to 3, you will get the answer here. Put n is equal to 3, t to the power of 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 factorial, that is t square by 2 factorial, t square by 2 factorial plus 6 into, again by using the formula here, put n is equal to 4, put n is equal to 4, you will get the answer here, t to the power of 4 minus 1, 3 by 3 factorial plus 12 into L inverse of 1 by s to the power of 5, put L is equal to 5, you will get t to the power of 5 minus 1, that means t to the power of 4 by 4 factorial plus 8 into L inverse of 1 by s to the power of 6, put N is equal to 6, put N is equal to 6, you will get t to the power of 6 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 factorial, that means here t to the power of 5 by 5 factorial, this is the answer. You can simplify here, 3 factorial, 6 cancel here, like that you can cancel here, this and the here, you will get 4 into 3 cancelled, that means 1 by 2 you will get here. The final answer is here, t square by 2 factorial is 2 plus t cube 
plus t square here t to the power of 4 by 2 plus a to t to the power of 5 by 5 factorial a t to the power of 5 by 5 uh, 5 factorial after simplifying this becomes a t to the power of 5 by 15. This is the answer. Find L inverse of find L inverse of 3 into a square minus 1 whole square 3 into a square minus 1 whole square by 2 h to the power of 5. Find L inverse of 3 into a square minus 1 whole square by 2 h to the power of 5. Same procedure here first you take this 3 by 2 outside, 3 by 2 is constant you take outside here 3 by 2 into L inverse of this becomes here a square minus 1 whole square by S to the power of 5. In the next step use the formula here A minus B whole square formula, A minus B whole square that means here A square means A square whole square is S to the power of 4 minus 2 a b 2 a square plus b square that means 1 by s to the power of 5. That is equal to a 3 by 2 into L inverse of next you separate here s to the power of 4 by s to the power of 5 that is 1 by s minus 2 into L inverse of s square by s to the power of 5 that is 1 by s cube plus L inverse of 1 by s to the power of 5, 1 by s to the power of 5. Use the standard formula, you will get the answer here. That is here 3 by 2 into L inverse of 1 by s, use the first formula, L inverse of 1 by s is 1, minus 2 into, it is of the form L inverse of 1 by s to the power of n for n. That means here put n is equal to 3, you will get the answer here t to the power of 3 minus 1 t square by 2 factorial plus L inverse of 1 by s to the power of 5. Put n is equal to 5, you will get here t to the power of 5 minus 1 by 5 minus 1 factorial. That means that becomes here t to the power of 4 by 4 factorial. These two cancel, 2 factorial is 2, 2 to cancel that is here 3 by 2 into 1 minus t square plus t to the power of 4 by 24. This is the answer. Next example, find L inverse of, find L inverse of S square minus 3S plus 4 divided by S square minus 3S plus 4 divided by S cube. Same type problem again here. First you separate all the three terms. That is equal to here L inverse of S square by S cube. So minus 3 into L inverse of S by S cube plus 4 into L inverse of 1 by S cube. Here L inverse of S square by S cube minus 3 into L inverse of S by S cube plus L inverse of 4 by S cube. That is equal to L inverse of S square S square cancel the remaining is here 1 by S minus 3 into L inverse of 1 by S square. S by S cube is 1 by S square plus 4 into you write the same as it is you write here 1 by S cube. That is equal to here L inverse of 1 by S by using the first formula you will get 1 minus 3 into L inverse of 1 by S square put n is equal to 2 you will get here t, uh, t to the power of 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial that is t to the power of 1 by 1 factorial that means t t to the power of 1 by 1 factorial plus 4 into again here put n is equal to 3 put n is equal to 3 you will get t to the power of 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 factorial 
that means t square by 2 factorial. So, this is the answer that means 1 minus 3 t plus t square by 2 factorial. This 4 you write the same as it is here that becomes here 2 to cancel this becomes 2. Find L inverse of find L inverse of S plus 2 S plus 2 divided by S square minus 4 S S square minus 4 S plus 13. Find L inverse of S plus 2 by S square minus 4 S plus 13. By completing the square method here, here S square minus 4 S plus 13 is equal to you write the first two terms as it is here S square minus 4 S by completing the square method. S square minus 4 S you write the same as it is you write. The coefficient of S is 4 here, whatever it may be the plus or minus, do not worry about that one here. The coefficient of S is 4. You divide this number always by 2, you will get here 2. So, the coefficient of S is 4, divide always by 2, you will get 2 plus 2 here, this square of this number you take here 2 square plus 2 square minus 2 square and plus this 13 you write the same this is the procedure here. So, first two terms S square minus 4 S you write the same, but here the coefficient of S is 4 divide by 2 you will get 2. So, you here add and subtract the square of this number plus 2 square minus 2 square and this 13 you write the same as it is you write here. So, from the first three terms we can write here clearly it is of the form A square plus B square minus 2 A B form. So, A square plus B square minus 2 A B that is A minus B that means S minus 2 whole square plus here 13 minus 4. Here this is 13 minus 4 9, 9 is equal to 3 square. You can verify it here A minus B whole square means A square minus 2 A B means minus 4 S plus 2 square and this is here 13 minus 4 is 9, 9 is equal to 3 square. That means this is equal to here. So, L inverse of S plus 2 divided by S minus 2 whole square plus 3 square plus 3 square. That is equal to here L inverse of now here when you are using this formula here. So, we know the next, the next form by the L inverse of S minus C A by S minus C A whole square plus B square equal to e to the power of A T cos B T form. That means here S minus C A here also it should be S minus C A, but this is S plus 2, this is S minus 2. So, add and subtract here 2 that means S minus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that means 4 divided by S minus 2 whole square plus 3 square. Here S is equal to S minus 2 plus 2 plus 2 this plus 2 that is 4. Here you can verify here 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 plus 2. And now you separate these two terms that is L inverse of. So, S minus 2 by S minus 2 whole square plus 3 square plus L inverse of 4 divided by S minus 2 whole square plus 3 square that is equal to n. Now, clearly it is of the form L inverse of S minus C A by S minus C A whole square plus B square form, stand form. Use the formula, this becomes here e to the power of 2 d into cos 3 d. So, by using the formula here, it is of the form L inverse of S minus C A by S minus C A whole square plus B square form. That means, that is equal to e to the power of 2 d into cos 3 t and here you take 4 outside 4 into L inverse of 1 by S minus 2 whole square plus 3 square. 
that is equal to e to the power of 2d into cos 3d plus 4 into now by using this formula here use this formula L inverse of here you observe here it is of the form L inverse of 1 by S minus A whole square plus B square use this formula here S minus A whole square plus B square put A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3 you will get the required answer that means e to the power of a t that means e to the power of 2 d into sin b t that means sin 3 d divided by b means 3 this is the answer. So 4 by 3 e to the power of 2 d into sin 3 d and this is same here e to the power of 2 d into cos 3 d. Next example find L inverse of find L inverse of S by S plus 3 whole square S by S plus 3 whole square plus 4 find L inverse of S by S plus 3 whole square plus 4 our main intention is here you have to write the given problem into the stand forum so that you can use the formula you will get the answer here very easy. And now we know this formula here L inverse of so S minus A by S minus A whole square plus B square equal to E to the power of AT into cos BT E to the power of AT into cos BT here this is S plus 3 in the formula here these two are same s minus a s minus c a but here this is s plus 3 this is only s so add and subtract here this 3 that means this is equal to l inverse of so s plus 3 minus 3 divided by s plus 3 whole square plus 2 square this 4 is equal to 2 square and separate these two L inverse of S plus 3 divided by S plus 3 whole square plus 2 square minus L inverse of 3 divided by S plus 3 whole square plus 2 square. By separating these two here this divided by denominator again minus 3 divided by denominator. Now it is of the form here L inverse of S minus A by using that formula by s minus a whole square plus b square forum put a is equal to minus 3 put a is equal to minus 3 you will get here e to the power of minus 3 t into cos b t means 2 t this is b a is minus 3 and here you take my 3 outside then this becomes l inverse of 1 by s minus a whole square plus b square forum use this formula put a is equal to minus 3 and b is equal to 2 you will get the required answer. So put a is equal to minus 3 and b is equal to 2. So the answer is here e to the power of minus 3 d into sin 2 d divided by 2 just put b equal to 2 you will get the answer. So this is the answer. Find next problem find L inverse of find L inverse of S plus 2 this problem is already over find L inverse of 2S minus 1 so 2S minus 1 divided by S square plus 4S S square plus 4S plus 29 find L inverse of 2s minus 1 by square plus 4s plus 29. You have to write the given problem into the standard forms, then use the formula, you will get the answer. So, this is equal to here L inverse of so 2s minus 1 divided by s square plus 4s plus 29 by completing the square. A square plus 4s plus 29 by completing the square the coefficient of s is 4 so divide by 2 
you will get 2. You divide all the always here this number by 2, this number divided by 2. So, this here that is a square plus 4 s you write the first two terms plus 2 square minus 2 square that means add and subtract here plus 2 square minus 2 square and this plus 29 write the same here as it is here 29. From the first three terms it is of the form a square plus b square plus 2 a b forward. So, that is a plus b a plus b whole square that is s plus 2 whole square and here 29 minus 4 25 25 is equal to 5 square. You can verify here s square plus 4 s plus 2 square means 4 and here 25 minus 4 is 25 equal to 5 square. Now you substitute here so s plus 2 whole square plus 5 square s plus 2 whole square plus 5 square. So, this is equal to here L inverse of now this is s plus 2 this is 2 s minus 1 you write in place of s you write s plus 2 then this becomes here 2 into s plus 2 this is s plus 2 right here minus and here this is 2 s 2 s. So, plus 4 is there here write minus 4. So, 2 into 2 4 you write plus 4 minus 4 that means here add and subtract 4 and this minus 1 you write the same here minus 1 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 5 square that is equal to here 2 into L inverse of. So, s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 5 square here 2 into L inverse of S plus 2 divided by denominator and minus here minus 4 minus 1 that is minus 5. So, minus 5 into L inverse of 1 by S plus 2 whole square plus 5 square. Same as it is right here 2 into L inverse of S plus 2 divided by denominator minus 5 here minus 5 into L inverse of 1 by s plus 2 whole square plus 5 square that is equal to 2 into now here it is of the form L inverse of s minus c a by using that formula s minus c a by s minus a whole square plus b square for use that formula put a is equal to here put a is equal to minus 2 b equal to 5 you will get the answer. So, that means the answer is here put a equal to minus 2 e to the power of minus 2 t into cos b t means cos phi t. So, put a is equal to minus 2 b equal to phi and next minus phi into now by using this formula here you observe these two here it is of the form L inverse of 1 by s minus s minus a whole square plus b square forum put a is equal to 2 minus 2 b equal to 5 b equal to 5 and a equal to minus 2 you will get the answer. That means here e to the power of minus 2 t into sin phi t divided by phi divided by b, b is phi. So, phi phi cancel this is the answer. So, e to the power of minus 2 t is common you can take outside here the remaining is 2 cos phi t minus sin phi t. So, this is the answer. Next example find L inverse of find L inverse of 1 by so 1 by s square minus 2 s plus 5 minus 2 s plus 5. So, s square minus 2 s plus 5 equal to 
by completing the square method here again. So, the first two terms you write the same here is square minus 2 es first two terms and the coefficient of es is 2 whatever it may be the sign here plus or minus you divide this number always by 2 you will get 1 here. So, plus 1 square minus 1 square that means add and subtract the square of this number. So, plus 1 square minus 1 square and plus 5 you write the same here 5. From the first three terms, so this is equal to here s minus 1 whole square you can verify it here. So, s square minus 2 s plus 1 and again here 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, 4 is equal to 2 square. 4 equal to 2 square that means this is equal to here L inverse of so 1 divided by S minus 1 whole square plus 2 square. Now, it is at the form here L inverse of 1 by S minus A whole square plus B square form. Use this formula here put A is equal to 1 B equal to 2 here put A equal to 1 B equal to 2 you will get the answer here that is equal to e to the power of t put a equal to 1 b equal to sin 2 t by 2. So, this is the answer e to the power of t sin 2 t by 2. Find L inverse of S by find L inverse of S divided by s square plus 4 s plus 13. Find next example find the L inverse of s by s square plus 4 s plus 13. That is so s square plus 4 s plus 13 is equal to by completing the square method here you write the first two terms as it is you write here s square plus 4 s. Again the coefficient of s is 4, so divide by 2 you will get 2 here. The coefficient of s is 4, you divide always this number by 2, you will get 2 here. That means here square of this number plus 2 square minus 2 square plus 13. And from the first three times it is of the form a square plus b square plus 2 a b 4 that is a plus b whole square that is s plus 2 whole square. You can verify it here a plus b whole square s square plus 2 square 4 plus 4 2 a b means 4 s and here 13 minus 4 13 minus 4 is 3 3 square that is equal to here l inverse of so, s divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 3 square and in the formula you observe here this is s minus a this is also s minus a these two must be same then only it is possible to use the formula here. But here in the given problem this is s plus 2 this is only s. So, we have to add and subtract the plus 2 here s is equal to s plus 2 minus 2 then that becomes here L inverse of. So, S plus 2 minus 2 divided by S plus 2 whole square plus 3 square. So, plus 2 minus 2 add and subtract 2 here because in the denominator this is S plus 2. So, now that is equal to here you separate these two terms. So, S plus 2 divided by S plus 2 whole square plus 3 square minus L inverse of 2 divided by S plus 2 whole square plus 3 square. Now, clearly it is of the form here L inverse of S minus A use that formula here S minus A by S minus A whole square plus B square form. Put A is equal to minus 2 B equal to 3 you will get the answer here. That means this is equal to here e to the power of minus 2 D into cos 3t. Put a is equal to minus 2 b equal to 3 you will get here e to the power of minus 2t into cos 3t minus 2 into 2 you take outside here. 
So, L inverse of 1 by S plus 2 whole square plus 3 square, use this formula here, put A is equal to minus 2, B equal to 3, you will get the answer. That means here that is equal to e to the power of minus 2d into sin bt that means sin 3d divided by b, p is 3 here. So, this is the answer. e to the power of minus 2d we can take outside here that is e to the power of minus 2d into cos 3d minus 2 by 3 sin 3d. This is the answer. Next example, find L inverse of, find L inverse of S plus 5 by S plus 5 divided by S square minus 6 S plus 13, S square minus 6 S plus 13. Again by completing the square method here. So, this is S square minus 6 S plus 13 equal to, you write the first two terms S square minus 6 S. The coefficient of S is here 6. So, 6 you divide this number always by 2 you will get here 3, 6 by 2 3. So, plus 3 square minus 3 square and plus this 13 from the first three terms. So, this is equal to here S minus 3 whole square A minus B whole square here minus is there. So, A minus B whole square formula plus 13 minus 3 again here 9, 9 is equal to 3 square 13 minus 3 square 13 minus 9 that means 4, 4 is equal to 2 square. S minus 3 whole square plus 2 square. Now, you write here this is equal to L inverse of. So, S plus 5 write the same divided by S minus 3 whole square plus 2 square. S minus 3 whole square plus 2 square that is equal to L inverse of. L inverse of here this is S minus 3, but this is S plus 5. Here in the formula here you observe here S minus A this is also S minus A then only it is possible to use that formula. So, now here you write the denominator as it is here S minus 3 whole square plus 2 square and here in place of S you write this S minus 3. So, in place of S you write S minus 3 and here minus 3 write plus 3 write here plus 5. That means here add and subtract 3 here. So, that is equal to L inverse of S minus 3 by S minus 3 whole square plus 2 square plus 2 square 5 plus 3 8. That means L inverse of 8 divided by S minus 3 whole square plus 2 square. Now, again once again use the same formula here put A is equal to here you compare these two put A is equal to 3 B equal to 2 you will get the required answer. Put A equal to 3 B equal to 2 in that formula if the answer is here e to the power of 3 D e into cos 2 D plus. So, you take this 8 outside the remaining is here L inverse of 1 by S minus 3 whole square plus 2 square forum use this formula put A is equal to 3, B is equal to 2, you will get the required answer here. That means e to the power of 3 D into sin B D sin 2 D divided by 2 or you can write here this is equal to e to the power of 3 D into cos 2 D plus 2 to cancel here that becomes here 4 sin 2 D. So, e to the power of 3 d into cos 2 d plus 4 sin 2 d, this is the answer. Next example, find the L inverse of, find the L inverse of 
3s plus 7 find the L inverse of 3s plus 7 divided by s square minus 2s. So, s square minus 2s minus 7 s square minus 2s minus 3. Same type problem. So, by completing the square method here s square minus 2s minus 3. So, that is s square minus 2s minus 3 is equal to you write the first two terms as it is right here s square minus 2s. The coefficient of s is 2. So, you divide this number always by 2 you will get 1. So, plus 1 square minus 1 square that means add and subtract the square of this number here plus 1 square minus 1 square and this minus 3 you write the same here minus 3 from the first three terms. So, it is of the form a square minus 2 a b plus b square form that is s minus 1 whole square s minus 1 whole square next is here minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 minus 2 square minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 equal to minus 2 square that is equal to here L inverse of so, 3s plus 7 divided by s minus 1 whole square minus 2 square. So, s minus 1 whole square minus 2 square that is equal to L inverse of. So, 3 into in place of s you write this s minus 1 then this becomes here s minus 1 and this is here 3s 3s minus 3 you write plus 3 plus 7 divided by s minus 1 whole square plus minus 2 square. Here in place of s you write s minus 1. Now, here after simplifying 3 s 3 s minus 3 here there is no minus 3. So, you should write plus 3 and this 7 you write the same and separate these two terms that is L inverse of 3 you take outside the remaining is s minus 1 by s minus 1 whole square minus 2 square plus L inverse of 7 plus 3 10 divided by s minus 1 whole square minus 2 square and that is equal to here 3 into now it is of the form here L inverse of s minus a by s minus a whole square minus b square if it is minus here then this becomes hyperbolic cos hyperbolic. So, that means e to the power of t into cos hyperbolic 2t. So, if it is minus here you will get hyperbolic function plus you take 10 outside again it is of the form L inverse of 1 by s minus a whole square minus b square form. Use this formula here if it is minus here then this becomes hyperbolic sin hyperbolic if it is minus then that is here 10 into e to the power of t e to the power of t into sin hyperbolic b t that is sin hyperbolic 2 t divided by b b means 2 this is b. So, that is equal to here e to the power of t you take outside write the remaining here that is 3 into cos hyperbolic 2 t plus 5 sin hyperbolic 2 t. So, this is the required answer. Okay, tomorrow I will continue. Thank you.